All right, guys, and welcome back to probably one of the nicer views, I think, in Fallout London so far. Thanks for joining me. Now, I'm going to be going off to Camelot, hopefully. As someone put in the comments recently, and thank you very much, surely Sir Samelot can become a member of Camelot. And uh, unfortunately, Mount Batten's still with us. He's all right. We'll, we'll, give him a, we'll give him a little longer to redeem himself. But he's no Kira. He's, he's all right and all, but I think Kira's got a bit more personality. So anyway, we're quite some ways away from this place. If I show you on the map. Uh, it's all the way over the other side. We, we're going to be avoiding the, the lava spilled area, which was... I think... Where the hell was that? Oh, I can't remember. I think it's another zone. Um, It's all the way over here, but I thought, oh, I'll, I'll bring you along for the ride. I was going to travel over there and then start recording. I thought, well, I'll bring you guys along. So you can get an idea. Seeing as the, seeing as the weather is clement... Uh, and we'll explore a little bit of the world as we go. I love these little scenes. Wimbledon Park Lake. Isn't it beautiful? This is this is how they died. What they were do I love this about Fallout though, is what they were doing as the bombs fell. This lady was enjoying some kind of dinner, TV dinner, by the lake, in absolute peace. Ooh, frag grenades. Thank you very much. Wimbledon Park Lane. God, you know, I, it's been a long time so, since I was in Wimbledon. I lost the semi-finals to Rafa Nadal. Apparently, I still think the uh, I still think the umpire was biased. There's probably a few things to explore. Okay, oh come on, come on. We got to We got to look at some of these buildings. Well, oh god, no, we don't. <gasps> Thames folk. Oh, these are okay. These aren't bad things. Look at this lot! Oh, Hopefully the Thames folk! Oh, I forgot about you lot! Lurk egg soon. It's you! What are you doing here? Uh, well, I don't know. It is me. Yes, it's me. I love that when people come up to you and go, Is it you? Yes, it's me. Um, I'm gonna steal whatever you've got. Iron Brute? No. Alright, I can't steal this stuff. Um, and who are you, little one? Thankfully, not aggressive. What was the name of the one who attacked me and I got into a, a, a bit of a, a... bit of a mess with him? Ooh! That's uh, interesting. They're growing their food inside shipping containers where the sun don't shine. Conquer plants. I don't, I'm not quite sure why they or how they can be useful, but we'll take them. I've got to be careful though. A, on a journey like this, if you don't keep saving, everything can come uh, very quickly unraveled so i should be quick saving every now and again hoping the quick saves hold hold up now we've got hooligans oh baby baby do we do we try and take over this entire what looks like it's got a radar dish on the top don't you get tired of all this walking about uh no actually it's kind of part of the whole experience mount burton this is the game all right, I've been spotted. Actually, I think Mount Batten, you were spotted. It's all your fault. I don't, I don't need to take them on. <laughs> I mean, I could take them on. I just don't feel the inclination. And it's so pretty out here. Blood spattering my my screen is not. It's not what I ordered for this gentle, relaxing walk in the countryside. Is that a water tower? I guess it is. Sorry, just sorry, just a just a little light introduction to to what we're going to find. Hopefully, this this building, but it's just basically a giant ball. I wonder if that's a giant tennis ball. We are in Wimbledon after all. Ones with Pindar. Oh, that's what it is. But where is it? Right here. What am I looking at? Hold on a moment. Where did you go? Where did I? I'm over here, mate. But I don't know where the entry to this Pindar is. Maybe it'll be part of a mission. We'll keep going. 
I think we're probably getting quite close. Yeah, we're really close now. I'm surprised we haven't had to fight any giant creatures along the way. He says, <laughs> Oh my god! A bloat mother. Oh, come on, come on, we can do this one. We can do this one. She spied us anyway. A bloat mother. What a wonderful name. She's nearly done. Uh, there you go. Oh my god, she's got little minions. Ah! Okay, this could go horribly wrong. I'm taking radiation damage as well. <gasps> oh god, what's that stuck on my face? Oh, this is hideous. Lava. And not the red hot kind. Yeah. Okay, I think that blood is pouring out of my forehead. Oh, there you are. Bloat lava. So now we know. Oh, right, can't shoot them either. Nice. There it is. And we got another level up for it. I think I've got three in the bank. Right, there's another one lying around here somewhere. There you are. Gotcha. All right, let's uh, see what we picked up here. The cooking station. Maybe we can cook the meat of this. Where's the big old mother gone? There you are. Oh, no. one bloat fly meat. Bit disappointing. Cannot use while in combat. Oh, apparently I'm still in combat. Not to interrupt your... There they are. Wow, there was only a 9% chance of making that shot, but I, I made it anyway. That's that. how good I am. <laughs> Where's the other one? Oh, you're there. I just heard a noise. I'll take the rear, you take the rest. Uh, I'm sorry, it's just not my style. Oh, I think you got him. Oh, what is that? A legendary sleep near. I can't kill it. I mean, I could kill it. Beautiful. The legendary sleep near. Now, I, I don't want to kill it. I'm sure it's got a good reward, but I'm not doing it. And I, in fact, I'm going to leave it cooking until we get to uh, Camelot. I can't wait to see these people. I like the armor from the last lot that we met at the tournament. How do we get in? going rock climbing well that's it we found the place at least I wonder if I fast travel to it I end up at the front door oh god um I've got myself stuck I'm stuck in a hole Oh no, I've gone and done it, haven't I? Oh, come on, come on. Come on, oh no. <sighs> All right, we'll fast travel to Camelot then. Be like that. There we go. Oh, that's what we saw. I saw this in the, uh, the intro. Is this, um, like bat signal? Which, oh, there it is. It shines the light of the dragon in the sky. All right, let's go and say hello. Introduce ourselves. I like this place. Everybody's got traditional armor on. Bit of woad on the face. Very nice. What's your business? What's your business, sir? He's the flag bearer. Well, I gotta say, I feel at home already. 
Oh. Oh, well, we're not getting in there. Hello, young lady. Need help? Uh, yes. I'm trying to get in. Oh, Gaia. Goodbye. Have we met before then? Because all the uh, the the prompts Patience were is key for the were grayed out. Continues. Um, <laughs> I don't know where to go. I don't know what's going on here. I'm going to try outside. Head round the front. Maybe that'll work. Ah, look at that. There was somebody waiting out the front door for me. I'd already been around the back. London Hello, sir. Is the place for me. It's Lancelot. Ah, Monsieur Bonjour, Lancelot. Hail, fellow. My ah. respects to you. Your exploits are known here. Have you come to join us? Right. Uh, well, I am actually going to. I feel like it's my duty. Um, I would like to join, but who are you first? I'm Lancelot, head of security here at Camelot. Stop by the tavern sometime. You can buy me a drink. Okay. What do you know of my exploits? Westminster's usually closed to us commoners. Parliament, even more so. But you, <laughs> you got those signatures and beat the gentry at their own game. All within their sodding laws. In a fair world, they'd let you in. Instead, they chucked you in the nick. Typical, isn't it? When you escaped, it's only natural fate led you here. Okay, I'm just travelling through. May I enter? Um, no, I've come to join. Let's do this. That's what I like to see. Usually I send recruits to Merlin, but you'd be wasted as a levy. Go find Arthur. He'll know what to do with you. Oh, perfect. There's an Arthur and a Merlin. This is superb. Right, well, I think I know where we got to get to. Patience is key for the quest to continue. It's where we first came in. All right. I hope they got a round table. Maybe, maybe we get um, a sword. Oh, Camelot requires a key. Well, well, don't do that to me. That's just teasing. Uh, yes, what's the blooming name of the sword? Ask me any other moment in time, I will Only be able to us tell you. Londoners can prattle on about this town. Excalibur. Rich should shut up. That's the very word. All right. Okay, they've got quite the setup here. This is incredible. Target practice in the tennis courts. A beautiful looking windmill. And a gathering. What is this? Stop this madness at once. Is there not a grain of sense between you? If the old man wants to fight, let him. By all means, fight. Such is the custom of Dueler's Ditch, but not to the death. Do not spill the blood of your compatriots. Compatriots? Do compatriots break honest agreements out of spite? Do they lie and cheat? The Baileys are nothing but crooks. My family followed that ridiculous Ever agreement to the letter. Vigilant. This matter was resolved. The round table decreed half the forest to be preserved. What happened? Chard, burned to the ground. And was this your family's doing, Thomas? Of course not. The old man's deranged. What good is a charred forest to us? We're carpenters. The Radstags have fled for the hills. The land is useless to us now. Your half would have a father thought we'd sell it to you. Don't speak about my father. You have no idea. One of you, John, call this off. No one will think any less of you. They've gone too far this time, Arthur. Thomas? I need to defend my family's honor. I won't take these accusations sitting down. So we got well. <laughs> a John on. Thomas battle down there. Who's there? Oh God! Fight to the death. I suppose we have to witness this. Oh, nice move. Oh, he's like, come on. London is the place for me. I love this uh, flipping over. I think that's new in the game, much like the. Uh, 
the Wait. ladder climbing. Oh, looks like John lost. Will you not cheer the victor? He was a young man, John. This feud has gone on too long. Oh, John won. I shall send someone to investigate the matter. It will be resolved. I'm guessing I know who that someone's going to be. Such is our way. These guys are awesome. Look at this. Right, uh, Arthur. Welcome. Do I kneel? Do I kiss your... Do I kiss your ring? I mean, on your hand. Some will judge me for what has happened here today. They'll claim that because I could have stopped it, I should have. What do you think? Well... Now, this is this is a difficult one. Are we going to get judged for our response? If it meant saving a life, then you should have stopped it, why didn't you? Or, if they both agreed to a duel and they knew the stakes, they should have the freedom to make the choice. I actually, fair, fair play, in this kind of world. I'm getting the feeling that you're not taking this seriously. I'm just thinking about my options, Arthur. I thought you were all about freedom. It was an entertaining spectacle. The morality of it means very little to me. I'm not really sure. Okay, I'm going to say they both agreed to a duel. They knew the stakes. I mean, in real life, I would never say this, but I would say you should have stopped it. But anyway, they had the freedom. Yes, I had similar thoughts. Freedom of choice is important to many of my people. I have to refrain from exercising power whenever possible, even if I want to. I have only the authority my people have given me. They trust in the end, when Westminster falls, a democracy will take its place. Everything I do must be towards that goal. Any unnecessary use of power will break their trust. And trust is keeping this movement together, not strength. Anyway, don't get the wrong idea. Our tourney grounds across the field are oft used for friendly bouts. Speak to Galahad if you're interested. Uh. There's a Galahad as is well. Is there something you wish to discuss? Well, yeah, kind of. I was here to join the, the whole crew. Um, I, my, my name is Sir Samalot. I mean, it rhymes with your whole town. Uh, should, doesn't that just give me automatic entry? I would like to join. Uh, but, oh, maybe I, could, I should go with questions. I want to find out a bit more. Direct them to Percival. He enjoys bombarding newcomers with the riveting tales of Camelot and our history, as if it was already enshrined in legend. Anything else? All right, yeah, I'm here to join. Good. You could be the missing piece. I'm relieved Lancelot sent you to me. Merlin would have you running the beep test. The what Our test? contact in Westminster told us of your story. You are no doubt someone who can perform beyond rank and file duties. I had some things I wanted to ask you if we ever crossed paths, but now isn't the time. There's a more pressing matter at hand. Oh, I didn't realize. The feud between the Fletchers and the Baileys. It started as bickering, but now there's blood involved. I fear it will escalate further until one of them is driven from the land. This is not what anyone wants. To lose either family is to lose the food on our tables or the tables themselves. Hunters and woodcutters are the basis of any decent civilization. On top of that, if we're ever going to finish Merlin's trebuchet, we need supplies and aid from both families. So, I need a trustworthy outsider to investigate. In short, I need you. Consider it your initiation. Got it. I didn't realize uh, the, the, the other option was to join the fifth column. As you saw it pop up on the left there, we failed joining them because we've joined these guys. Fine, well, you learn the hard way, don't you? Uh, but I was always going to join. Camelot. I mean, why wouldn't I? And I, I like the name of the mission. It, it, uh, green and Pleasant I'm Land. I'm getting the it's... feeling that you're not taking this seriously. Dude, I'm talking, all right? It's, it's not all about you. The Green and Pleasant Land, it's one of the lyrics of the, the... What a lot of people want to be the English national anthem is Jerusalem. And did those feet in ancient time... You know, that one. Uh, and Green and Pleasant Land is... The way they refer to England. It's so it's such a nice song. I'm getting it was, the feeling that you're not taking this seriously. I, I absolutely love it as a hymn. It's beautiful. Anyway. So tell me what you want me to investigate. Once upon a time, the two families were friendly. Their neighbours. The Baileys even helped the Fletchers build their treehouse. It's an impressive structure, I must say. 
The conflict stems from a piece of disputed land. The Baileys kept expanding their lumber yard into the Fletcher's hunting grounds. When the Fletchers appealed to the round table for judgment, none had a superior claim. So he split the land in half. They both felt robbed, but the matter was resolved. For a time. That was until the fire. A section of the land caught a flame during the night. It was mostly on the Fletcher's side, but the Baileys weren't unscathed. They both accuse each other of starting it. If either claim is truthful, then sanctions would have to be handed out. I need you to get to the truth of the matter, and I want some evidence. Oh, I love it. I'm great at investigating. I'm ready to do it. Um, what do you think of this land dispute? Okay, well, let's, we might as well get as much information as we can. Well, to be entirely truthful, I think it's unnecessary. The Baileys easily could have expanded their yard in a different direction, or made do with what they had. Same for the Fletchers. That land may have been their most bountiful, but they have acres of Camelot territory to hunt in. I suspect pride is mixed up in this somewhere, on both sides. Yeah, I'm sure. They only want it because the other one wants it. Um, who do you think? Who do you think started the fire? We didn't start the fire. I have fire. no reason to suspect either family. They both accuse each other of the same crime. And I don't wish to inflict bias on your judgment. All right. Okay. That's that's perfect. You said I could be the missing piece. Missing piece of what? Missing piece of... Oss. Ooh. Camelot. Pieces are falling into place, and the gentry are on their way out. If it, if it means taking over Westminster and ridding this entire town of those arrogant gentry folk, I'll be... I'll, I'm all in. Okay, you had some questions for me. They're not urgent. You can focus on the task at hand. Got it, got it. All right, I understand. Mission comes first. Um, I'm ready. Good. Start by questioning the leaders, Edward Fletcher and Harold Bailey. Get both sides of the story. Then investigate the scene of the fire. See what you can find. Right, I got Lancelot it. Lancelot ordered patrols to keep an eye on the area and warned everyone to stay clear, so nothing should be tampered with. Once you've brought evidence of the truth, I can bring you into the fold. For now, I'll let Lancelot know you can come and go to the castle as you please. Good luck. I must admit, I'm not exactly interested in grown men who've decided to dress up as medieval knights. <laughs> so many better things to do with your free time. Hey, look, this isn't LARPing. This is a serious movement based on some foundations of English myth and lore. How dare you, Mount Ban? I'm gonna banish you. I'm gonna get Kira back. She'd have been suitably sarcastic at this moment in time. I could do that right now, but we've got investigating to do. Important investigating things. It's an absolutely miserable day. I wanna sleep until it's daytime again. Uh. I've got no idea where I'm going. Just following the map markers here. Oh, do we have to go outside the walls? Wait a second. Oh god, it's miles away. Get both sides of the story. Okay, we were actually closer. Back in Brickton. I'm going to go back to the lake. Uh, a bit of fast travelling might might skip the night along. I wonder if this is where we get the sword from. The Lady of the Lake. The Lady of the Myrlurk Lake. She held the sword aloft and Arthur claimed it as his own. Excalibur. That's why I'm trying to remember. I know he pulled the sword from the stone, which was the legend that whoever did it would supposedly be righteous and claim, and could, could could rightfully claim uh, to be the king of England. But what happened to the sword after that, where it ends up in the lake? Okay, that is an absolute radiation nightmare. I am not going near it. I hope that's not the bit they're fighting over. 
is frankly not interested. We need somewhere with a bed. Requires a key. Okay, if this is the land they were fighting over, I've got to say... Oh, these are the Fletchers. Got it. Right. The first group. In the Great Oak Treehouse. Oh, look at you, Damien Fletcher, with your... Oh my god, those are squirrel skins hanging from your belt. I think this is supposed to be like the Robin Hood group. Do? Edward Fletcher. Need something? Uh, I've been sent by the round table to investigate the forest fire. Why did John Fletcher challenge Thomas? Oh yes, the, the, the two that were fighting uh, in the duel. But why did that happen? I'm not sure. I'll be honest, what my brother did was regrettable. John and the boy weren't part of this feud. Or at least they shouldn't have been. Being knights of Camelot, they live or lived at the castle. Seems they had a feud of their own after the fire. A microcosm of conflict. It's unfortunate it escalated. I almost lost my Mary last year to illness. I can't imagine the pain Harold must be going through. Whatever he did, no one deserves that. When you said I almost, I almost lost my Mary last year. I, I was, my mind was in a completely different place that I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna own up to, to be honest. What have you got? <laughs> what have you got to say? Okay, so there's a traitor as well. Look, but let's cut to the chase. I've been sent by the king, the king, to investigate. I'm the chief investigator. I am the inquisitor. Justify yourself. It's about time. There's been too much confusion around this fire. It must be stamped out. Okay. Uh, do I? How do I? How do I? How do I sort of lean into this? What were you doing the night of the fire? In fact, is my torch on? It's not shining in his eyes. Let's try that. I was preparing dinner for my family. I'll do a terrific venison stew. Here. Have a can. You you can your venison stew. Oh, Radstag stew. That's probably quite good. I'm I'm very grateful. Thank you very much. Is that bribery? I will not be paid off. What are your thoughts on the Baileys? Well, I'm certainly not shy about making their involvement in the fire known. I think they're good people at art. They're just stubborn. They know that land is ours. We moved into the area and claimed it weeks before they even arrived. And they think just because they helped build this place that we owe them. They received banquets of food in return. More than fair. This was the early days of Camelot, nearly eight years ago. They could have starved without our generosity. Interesting. So he started off like, oh, they're nice people, but, you know, uh, they helped us build this place was a, a, a key point I'm picking up on there. And the Baileys then said they they deserved a reward of some kind he says the reward was that we gave them food so okay i'm gonna keep that in the back pocket who started the fire fletcher Harold bailey himself i suspect or maybe his father i doubt he would have gotten any of his boys to do it right all right that's one side of the story optional question members of the bailey family and get oh something something get more info i suppose how do you know it was the Baileys? Who else would do it? If you have any evidence to the contrary, then fair enough. I'll put a sock in it. But I don't know anyone else with a motive. Well, the point is, you don't know. That's the that's the best I can pick up from that. You don't know. Very well. Them. Okay, he doesn't know. Um, fire away. Fire away. Very good. No, Very I don't well. have any more questions. Okay, that's that's done. Later. Later. Later, Edward. All right, I'm going to have a little ask around, hey. Sarah. Lovely makeup, I've got to say. Look, I've been in, I've been sent by the Rhine table to investigate the forest fire. Those Baileys couldn't stand to leave a nice woods be. They had to chop it all down for the sake of materialistic things like chairs. They didn't get their way, so they burnt it down. Right, simplistic. Uh, tell me a little about yourself. 
Sarah? I'm Sarah. The rest of my family are hunters, but I know better. The animals feel pain just as we do. They act like I'm some kind of revolutionary. Okay, thanks, Sarah. Cheers. Later. Great con great contribution to my uh my story today. How many squirrels have died to clothe these people? Why didn't God give Radstags two bodies instead of two heads? That's the bit we don't eat. I love your look. You are you are an assassin. Uh look, I've got some questions. Um, nobody created the Radstags, that was the radiation. Oh yes. I wonder if this is gonna completely confound and befuddle her. That's the boring answer. All right, look, let me just get on with this then. I've been sent by the round table to investigate the forest fire. I bet it was the Baileys. They most likely discovered fire for the first time in their lineage and got carried away. Brilliant. I'm Mary, Camelot's greatest huntress. I've perfected the art. My cousin Damien's pretty good, I don't doubt it. But I'm the best there is. Don't be a stranger. Okay, and we're not really getting much. It, nobody knows a damn thing. They all just suspect. Um, oh, I've got to look out for, for little trinkets and things. Um, what about you, Jane? What's up? Again, I, I love their, their, the design of these guys. Look really good. Um, I'm here to investigate. I see. Be careful out there. The Baileys are loose cannons. That didn't help. I'm a seamstress. Have been all my life. I make gambesons and the like for the Camelot army. And they all look very well dressed. Thank you, Jane. Take care. Congratulations. Excellent seamstressing. Right, Sarah we've spoken to. Edward we've spoken to. What about you, Damien? You're the one who's, who she said well, you, that she was better than. How'd you do? How'd you do, my son? I've been sent by the round table to investigate the forest fire. Then what are you doing here? It's the Baileys you should be questioning. I'm Damien. I'm a hunter by trade. My dad and my uncle taught me everything I know. Now I also help my mum out with her work while dad's busy with his nightly duties. All right, Goodbye. we're not getting anywhere here. I mean, maybe I should be looking for like burns on people's hands or something like that. The the you know the the dead giveaway. Nobody has really offered me any extra information. Edward, we uh, did we speak to you? Need something? Need something? Oh, oh, sorry, you were the main guy. Um, actually, what have you got Let's for sale? Let's see. We might still have some surplus. Uh, some rounds, a mitten lug egg, a quiver. Ooh, ooh, who's makes me quiver? Uh, and some arrows. Well, I would love a bow and arrow in this game, but I bet it's gonna be absolute trash. All right, I'm gonna sleep till the morning before we go see the rest of them the uh the baileys so isn't a flet didn't the name fletcher as a family name come isn't it isn't it somebody who makes arrows or or or, or makes the, the the feathery arrow type specifically i don't know nobody else has given me any extra information is it still an optional task question members of the bailey family and get a confession all the game has told me that they're guilty and all that this is no man's land we're walking through here we've got to be careful we don't look like we're coming from the other side oh look someone's got a limp is that because of a serious burn on your foot ryan bailey Can I help you? uh tell me about yourself first i'm ryan bailey not much to say really i don't get up too much i work hard and i keep my head down why are you limping, dude? He had an accident, that's all. A tree fell on me. As it had a trade. A burning tree? Look, I'm here to investigate. Yeah? Good. Not sure who done it myself. All I know is that my brother shouldn't have died over some poxy forest. Sorry for your loss. Are you? You round table lot could have stopped it. But you didn't. You just stood and watched it happen. Interesting. Bye. Bye, Ryan. So the Baileys blame the round table for letting it happen, but he's again, he does not know what happened. 
Oh god, that's the shit pit. We ain't going in there. Uh Harold, I presume. Uncomfortably close, yes. Hello there. Look, okay. Uh, oh, I'm sorry for your loss. Yes, we found out a family member's gone. I didn't lose my son. He was taken from me. That horse and John Fletcher murdered him. He can call it a duel all he wants. Fletcher knew my son wouldn't refuse. Thomas would have done anything to defend our family. Worst of all, Fletcher knew he'd win. He's a trained killer since birth. It was murder. Murder hiding behind the notion of honor. John Fletcher is a bitter old man to rob my son of the rest of his life. Someone with a good sword hand should give him what for. I should try myself. I want to. I want to tear his guts out with my bare hands. But all I can do is swing this axe. And my son's already lost their brother. Well, I, he hasn't painted himself in much glory so far. Okay, Bailey is... He's... He sounds uh, totally like a, an aggressive kind of guy. He's, he just wants to go after the Fletchers. Oh, they killed my dad. I want to tear their guts out. You know, that's not a good way to start when we're looking at uh, who might be the most aggressive of the two teams. But then, of course, the Fletchers could be very good at covering up their actual tendencies. I don't know. I haven't got enough information yet. So tell me about yourself, Harold. I'm Harold Bailey. We were a family of merchants before we came to Albion. We wanted to settle down here, so we picked up a trade. At first, we were just woodcutters, but soon enough we started building our own furniture, and then other people's furniture, and then houses and everything in between. We finally feel like we belong somewhere. I hope the rest of London will see what's happening here and accept Camelot as the way forward. Okay, this is, this is good. Um, right. I'm here to investigate. Is you, by any chance, did you used to have hair? Was it all burnt off in a fire you started? Good. The truth about this fire will prove our innocence. Oh, right. Here we go. Um, who started it? The Fletchers. I don't have any evidence, but I know it was them. That may not be good enough for the round table, but it's good enough for me. They're criminals. Okay, look, nobody knows who started anything. It's ridiculous. But look at this. Question members of the Fletcher family to get a confession. They were nice enough at first. We even helped build that treehouse of theirs. But they quickly revealed their true colours. That land is rightfully ours. It's on our side of the walkway. Stopping our field at some arbitrary line is ridiculous. They have the entire woods to hunt in. Do you know how much additional manpower it takes to haul wood long distance? I used to think they were just stubborn. <laughs> now I know it's something more malicious. After what they did to my son, I'll never forgive them. Okay, so it probably doesn't matter what anyone says. He's, he's, he's gone. He's, he's gone. He just wants blood. He wants revenge. What were you doing on the night of the fire? Listening to the radio. Oh, yeah. I always tune into Nigel's show in the evenings. I'd almost drifted off in my chair when the smoke got me up. I thought the whole forest was going to burn down. We managed to stop the spread with the water from the pond. Okay, this is, this is interesting. Edward Fletcher accuses your family of starting the fire. Do you know, I'm not going to say that. That might inflame the situation. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, go on then. <laughs> of course he does. Look. I know this fire doesn't look good for us, it mostly being their land, but I promise you, it wasn't us. Okay, it's not going to be any of them. The Fletchers are conniving. They know if we ever did something like that, we'd face sanctions. Most likely, they'd get their half of the land back. Alright, I guess you, like I, am already bored of this. I want no answers. I have no further questions. Let's get out of here. See you around. Yeah, I'll see you around. Uh, could, could, could be speaking to Greetings. others, get some more confessions. Do you know what? Maybe. See ya. Yeah, see ya, Frank. Um, maybe we have to go to the, uh, the, the, the location of the fire first. And then, once we've found out some kind of revelation, 
he's still suspicious. Ryan Bailey, I don't know. That that limp. Um, this will be where some of the fire got got to, I suppose. I mean, it's like, it's, it's ridiculous how close they are together. All right, anyway, we're investigating. Oh, the rad stag did it. Rad stags won't be back anytime soon. Well, I'm not sure that really helped. Um. Oh, wait a minute. Antler. A piece of radstag antler could have broken off during the commotion of the fire. Oh, it's intriguing. What else have we got here? There's not much else, is there? Oh, inspect the log. This is where the fire spread over to the Bailey's land. Over to the Bailey's land. Okay, does that matter? I bet it was just lightning. That's probably all this is. Ooh, dried blood. God, I would never have seen that. Some dried blood. Someone or something was injured out here. Follow the blood trail. Oh, God. Okay. I can barely see it. The sunlight has ruined it. Uh, over here. Here. Um, I don't know what I'm looking for. I can't see dried blood on the ground anymore. Oh, maybe I've just found some. Okay, we found some. Ooh. Med kit. The trail of blood ends here with what looks to be a medical kit. It must have been a person that was injured. Need help? Stim pack. Boy, blood pack, surgical gloves, thanks very much. Speak to the boy, speak to the boy. Where's the boy? Oh, hello, boy. Hello, sir. Oh, you're a baby. Name's Timothy. Well, Timmy, for short. Oh, the fire why'd you do it, Timmy? Eyes, I did. Thought the old forest was a goner till it started chucking down. Could be I can help with your investigation. Always fancied a career in sleuthing. I got a feeling though he's going to be mildly biased. Um, how did you know that's why I'm here, Timmy? I watched you snooping round like a prat. That's why. Like a what? I thought prat was always spelt with two T's. If you're going to call me a prat, spell it correctly. Who are your parents, Timmy? Who are your parents? Harold and Susan. But I just call them mum and dad. I'm their youngest. Okay, great, uh, great, Timmy. Why don't you run along back to them? No, Harold, Harold and Susan Bailey, did they put you up to this? Up to what? I just want to help with the investigation, that's all. Okay, hold on a minute. So Thomas Bailey must have been your older brother. Okay, he's the one that died. Thanks. I try not to think about it. Me and me older brother Ryan looked up to Thomas. Okay, look, um... All right, how can you help? And we might as well entertain this little brat. You see, I used a B. One T. Well, since I don't fancy digging round in the mud for clues, I can do you one better. I saw a bloke light the fire that night. I didn't see his mug. I was watching from the lumber yard, but he was suited up like a Camelot knight. He ran off to the old shack over there. I didn't follow him or nothing. I'm not supposed to go out on my own. So, did I crack the case or what? Uh, well, somebody dressing up as a Camelot Knight could have been a disguise. Um, but this is good. Is there anything else you notice? I mean, because that would... That would be definitely... Well, well, it must have been one of the Knights of Camelot. Perfect. So, or it could genuinely be somebody deliberately wanted these two to have a Barney with each other. Is there anything else you noticed about this man, Timmy? Not really. It was dark until the fire properly got going. By then, he'd run off to the shack. It's the way he's pronouncing some of this. I'm just, I'm beginning, I don't know if, if, if the actor's that good. He's just getting me feeling a little suspicious. I mean, he's good. He's a good actor, don't get me wrong. I just don't know if he's trying to make it sound like he's trying to mislead me. Um, what were you doing in the, in the lumber yard so late? Yeah, Timmy, what were you doing here so late? With a box of matches and a bottle of petrol. You know, checking the trees. 
It's a family business. All right, he didn't fall for it. Didn't fall for it. You didn't really do any investigative work. You're just a witness. Well, that's fine. He's a witness. Let him let him think he's helping. Thanks, Timmy. That'll be all. I'll be sure to include your efforts in my report. Thank you for your time. No worries. I'm always glad to lend a hand to those in need. It's just so he's just being very, so very careful about what he's saying here. All right, Timmy. Don't don't think I've 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 ignored you. I still think you're my prime suspect at this moment in time. Now we've got a little shack over here. This was the one I came across accidentally. We said it opens elsewhere. Oh, but now it mysteriously opens. So somebody dressed as a knight came in here after the fire. A broken lantern and a letter. Confession letter. No, all right, we can't pick up the letter. A partially shattered lantern. Could this be the cause of the fire? Read the letter. Oh, an incriminating letter. Well, I think we've solved the case, people. It's incriminating. John Fletcher. I have a cunning plan to get one over on the Baileys. At night, start a fire in the forest. They can't expand their Lombiard then. Your brother, Edward Fletcher. So who did it? John or Edward? Check the letter's authenticity. Well, how am I going to do that? I'm going to have to go find another letter. Ooh. That thing takes me back to the old times. The good times. Yeah, when everybody had wads of cash lying around. All right, now what do we got? Hold, hold on. This is, this is good. So we've got to check the letter's authenticity. Find the person injured during the fire. Well, I kind of thought we already had. Obviously not yet. There was a med kit over there. Um, that's, I think that's leading me back. Yeah, it's leading me back to Camelot. So I don't, I don't think we're quite done over here. Uh, injuries, injuries. Wow, look at you. Okay, now we don't really know. It could be, it could be absolutely anybody. How can I check the authenticity? All right, it's not a Damien. Uh, maybe I can ask these people, though. How do you do? How do you do, sir? Ah, no. Goodbye. No good, thanks. We need to find another letter. Check the handwriting, that kind of thing. Maybe that's how we do it. Oh, this is super sleuthing. There's a lantern. That's it. Guilty as charged. They have lanterns. Therefore, it was them. Right, we need to find somebody injured. Somebody injured. Right, I don't think we're going to get this. Need something? Yeah, got a letter, mate. I found a letter addressed to your brother from yourself. Care to comment on it, Teddy? What? Let me see that. Oh, you're going to burn that as well? Well, this certainly isn't my handwriting. Looks like it was written by a child. And why would I address my brother by his full name? And oh, most yeah, that's a good point. Of all, why would I have him burn down my own land? To get one over on them? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Us Fletchers don't act in pettiness. Trick by the Baileys, no doubt. I trust you to see the truth for this letter and dismiss it in your inquiries. Okay, I don't think we've found out anything there. It's all the stuff he kind of would have said. I'm Edward Fletcher, hunter by trade. Me and my family packed up shop and came to Albion seven years ago, from Bromley. Back there, we had to fend for ourselves. But here, we're protected. We can hunt in peace. It's a good living, and we're good at it. Me and my brother come from a long line of huntsmen. Our father, grandfather, and great-grandfather all stalked the wastes. And I hope my descendants will do the same. Mary, my oldest, continues the tradition. Sarah, my youngest, can't stand it. Says it's cruel. Each to their own, I guess. 
Sarah can't stand it. Later. I wonder if, that, if that's a motive. Somehow. All right, Sarah. Hey. Confess. All right, she's not going to confess. Later. See ya. All right, what else can we do here? Jane, Jane, no, Jane, Jane, know your name. Damien. How'd you do? No. Goodbye. Who was the letter between Teddy and, uh, sorry, is it Teddy? Teddy and another Fletcher. Not you. None of you. It's none of you. Oh, another letter. Ha ha! This letter, signed by Edward Fletcher, has considerably different handwriting than the one found inside the old shack. Right, well, the Fletchers, at this point, are innocent of writing a letter. Okay, we need to find out who was injured. I think we're going to find them in the Baileys. Oh, oh, would you happen to be injured over there? Can I help you? Tell me the truth, Ryan. Why are you limping like that? He had an accident, that's all. A tree fell on me. As it had a trade. A burning tree. Exactly, I knew it! Why lie, Ryan? I'll find the truth one way or another. Why not let it be your truth? Oh, here we go. Charisma check. I... I... Oh, shit. It's not what it looks like. At least, it didn't happen the way you think. Please, just let me explain. It was an accident. Me and Timmy were sneaking off to the tavern that night. We wanted to surprise Thomas. One of those bleeding rad stags came out of nowhere and ran right into my leg. I didn't even notice I dropped the lantern. We ran off and Timothy went to get me some bandages. By the time he came back, the fire started. Right, so it was an accident. I thought it was going to be something like that. There we go. Found out the truth. We got a confession, kind of. Does anyone else in your family know? No. I think my mum suspects, but she doesn't know. My dad wouldn't believe it, even if he saw it. All right, why did Timmy... Oh, so Timmy... Oh, yeah, well, we... Uh, what's his name? Fletcher said that the letter looked like it was written by a child, so Timmy tried to frame the Fletchers. I don't know. I told him not to. We knew this fire would be bad for the family. Me especially. I guess he wanted to protect me. Probably afraid of losing another brother. Okay, all right. I'm afraid, though. I'm arresting you. And everything you've just said will be used in a court of law. Please, tell Arthur the whole truth. Make him understand. Well, this is where we're going to put Arthur to the test. Because he is supposed to be legendary for being fair and just... Truthful. Honest. Let's see what he has to say, shall we? Oh, he's moved. Arthur! Arthur, I bring news! The investigation is completed. You'll, won't, you won't believe what happened. How goes the investigation? You probably will believe it. It's not that exciting, to be honest with you, mate. Uh, I know who started it. Go on. Well... It was the Baileys, but, but, can I tell him it was an accident? If I, if I name and shame, it was the Baileys, though. As I unfortunately suspected. The evidence? Well, accidental. Um, it was an accident, no one else knows. Okay, yeah, there we go, the middle one. It was Ryan, Ryan and Thomas, uh, sorry, Timothy. Ryan confessed, but it was just an accident. Um, here we go. Edward Fletcher has an alibi, so it must have been... Oh, well, we know what happened. It's the middle one. So I guess you could have got to this point. I'm getting the feeling that you're not taking this seriously. You don't give me enough time, man. I'm contemplating. Anyway, if, if, I mean, if you get to this point, you haven't found everything i found, you, you probably wouldn't have this option. But at least we know. And it was an accident. I was so sure this was about the land. I didn't think Harold and Edward could both be wrong. What exactly happened? Uh, well, they were sneaking off to the tavern. A rad stack rammed into Ryan's leg and he dropped the lantern. Uh, or what's this? Why is this different? It was a total accident. They had an un unlucky break with a rad stack, which caused some dropped equipment. Well, we know what it was. We know what the equipment was. Yeah, that one. Those poor boys. 
The guilt they must be feeling over their brother. Terrible. I'll have a talk with them. Consider the matter dealt with. I know Edward Fletcher. He's not one to demand sanctions over the mistakes of two boys. And Harold? Well, I'll talk with him, too. I asked for the truth, and you gave it to me. Now I must act on it. I shall be glad to settle this dispute amicably. Thank you. You've done well, and proven yourself worthy of Camelot. From this day forth, this land is your land. This land is my you land. It is your own. I bestow upon you the rank of sergeant. May you serve it well. Now, I had questions if we ever cross paths. Questions about our new head of the civil service, Smythe. Guinevere, our agent in Westminster, has been looking into them for years, but they remain elusive. Who are they? So am I... Did he just say I was a sergeant? Is that my rank? Sergeant Samalot. I am privileged. I will serve with honour. And I will do my duty to this land of Camelot. This is wonderful. Sergeant Samalot. Defender of Camelot. I'm getting the feeling that you're not taking this seriously. Okay, I'm getting the feeling you need to be a bit more patient, mate. All right. He's the leader. This is... Oh, he's asking about Smythe. He's the leader of an underground organization known as Angel. Controls the gentry from behind the scenes using an army of clone soldiers and scientists. But we've got man on the inside, by the way. I see. That's some alarming intel. How did you come by it? Uh, my investigation skills. I think you've just found I'm pretty good at it. I woke up in one of the Angel Labs with no memory of who I was. When I escaped, I followed their trail. Roth, I imagine that trail led you to Westminster. But who let you in? Few have the privilege to come and go. Oh, yeah. I, I got a few signatures. I'm not sure who it was. No, I do. I think it was Smythe who put me on the list, actually. They said something about meeting in Westminster face-to-face. -face. Yeah, but didn't I get, like, some signatures to get in there anyway? Curious. I assume that meeting never happened, judging by your prompt incarceration. After you escaped, Tristan and Istult met you at the tournament. It seems you were more than just an observer. Yes, I blew the place up, actually. They said you were looking for explosives, so I must assume you were behind the explosion. Oh, well. Why, exactly? That's putting two and two together and exactly making four. Well done. So a man known as Mr. X, this is my man on the inside, told me Smythe would be there. Yes, he did. He claimed to be an angel dissident. It was his idea to blow it up. Or, I received instructions from some weirdo, some weirdo, that wanted to knock off Smythe. Look, it's, it's, it's much more logical, the first one. So you wanted to kill Smythe, yep. but ended up causing the tragedy that gave them more power. Yep. I'd wager Mr. X was more fond of Smythe than he let on. Right. But that's in the past. No point dwelling on it. I expect this Smythe character will take a role in things to come. We must be ready to face all the gentry can throw at us. They're with Smythe now. That gets me onto your next assignment. I want to strike a blow against the Tommies, but I don't want to take military action. What? At least not yet. I'm not going to attack the Tommies. Percival is looking into something that you can help with. Speak to him. Good luck, Sergeant. Oh, no, 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 hold on. The Tommies have been, like... The Tommies have been great. I don't think I can do anything that sets up Camelot against the Tommies. I resign. Well, 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 people. Every breath you take has just been started. <sighs> well, I don't quite... I didn't quite know this was going to end up... I mean, I know factions are a thing. But I didn't think it would end up in a faction of, of one of the groups I, I would consider who've been the stalwarts of the game so far. Have let us through most places unharmed. The good old British Tommies. I, if we end up having to start a war with them, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have trouble picking sides. But I have joined Camelot. I am now a sergeant, Sergeant Samelot, to, to defend the land of Camelot. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next part. Take care. Good night.